Okay, guys, I just finished from the health center. I'm sure people are looking at me as I'm crazy. No problem. I just finished from the health center and then I have to take the bus to school. And what I didn't tell you guys also is that I wanted to go pick up some thermometers. Yeah, in this bag here. So I picked up a thermometer to measure my basal temperature every morning. And I also picked up, um, how do you call that thing? Okay guys, <laughs> wow, mm. I got a secret, I got a secret, yes, I mean we've been planning, you know, planning a little something, which, um, I mean, it's a very, very big step for me, at the same time, like, I am excited, but at the same time, I'm kind of scared, like super scared what I'm getting to, you know what I mean? Um, I have been taking my time to absorb this decision to, you know, it's a decision that you make once and it marks you forever. You know what I mean? I haven't told the secret, so maybe you don't know what I mean, but I'm sure most of you know what I mean. It's a kind of a decision that you take once and it marks your life forever. So I've been taking my time to decide about it, to like really think about it and all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so to start with, does this give you a clue to my little secret? If you were a woman, I'm sure you would know what this means. <laughs> if you were a woman, you would know what this means, definitely. Yeah, I went by the pharmacy today and bought myself a thermometer, okay? What do I need a thermometer for? Well, I need a thermometer to be able to track my basal temperature, okay? That is... The basal temperature is basically the first temperature that you collect in the morning, all right? And uh, yeah, what else did I get? Small secret, this. Yeah, I got this. So definitely this kit is to like, uh, it is from Claire Blue, okay? With 10 sticks inside. This kit basically is for you to, um, it's used to track your ovulation, okay? So this kit is going to be able to give you, it's going to be able to highlight two fertile days for you in a month. So this, um, yeah, basically that's it. So it's just because I love to be organized, okay? I'm a very chaotic woman, but at the same time, I love to have everything under control, like to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and how I'm doing it, okay? So this is part of my being organized, I guess. <laughs> Planning my cycle. And why, why, why all these? Yeah, because basically, now that I'm married, so most people are expecting that. Not that most people are expecting that. Um, Usually the next step after getting married is to start increasing the family. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, we've been thinking of increasing the family and uh, yeah, and thinking how to do it. Of course, we know how to do it, but when to do it, right? So I mean, right now I'm studying, so one it's it's one of those things that is like, okay, how are we going to manage it with my studies? But there are a lot of women who could get pregnant on their study period and it's okay. And yeah, that is no problem. Definitely no problem. So yes, this is what I got today. My little secret to get up planning. I mean, Ansi doesn't know about me buying these things. Definitely, he doesn't know about me buying them. I just want to, I mean, but of course we have talked about getting pregnant, of course. So I take it into my hands to make sure that everything is fine, okay? I am the woman and um, whether I like it or not, 
you the woman who is going to bear the baby you have to be well prepared so for the past three four months i've been taking uh, multivitamins and for uh, for siora for for sira something like that is called in swedish which is basically um yeah vitamins for for women who, who want to to for women who want to conceive okay so i've been taking those for the past four months and uh, because i want my body to have the necessary vitamins okay and um yeah i'm not gonna rumble too much about this because i'm sure i'm going to make another video to tell you guys how i prepare myself before i got pregnant if i ever get pregnant <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely one never knows i mean i'm 40 so you know it might happen and it might not happen okay um i had like for the past two weeks i had two sweats during the night which made me start thinking oh my gosh maybe i'm getting to pre-menopause or something like that i'm not scared of it you know i'm not scared of getting old it's part of life you just embrace it right just embrace it mm. but anyway i wouldn't want to get I wouldn't want to be cheated on not having kids if I don't know if what I, I don't know if I explain myself. I would be fine without them, but at the same time, if my body biologically, if I can have them, then I would love to have them. Okay, so that's how the thing stands. But anyways, that's my update, and let's keep the little secret. No, it's not going to be a secret by the time you guys see this video. It's not going to be a secret. Anyways, see you guys soon.